hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'll be showing you how to get this bomb closet diy style it is renters friendly and it looks bomb it looks like a pax built in so if you want the dates keep on watching So first I went in with all my pre-built bookshelves. I already had these bookshelves in another room so I'm just reusing it for my closet. If I didn't have it, I would have went in with a tape measure to measure the size I'm gonna be placing shelves on to see how many shelves I need. I use two, two shorter Billy bookshelves and three longer Billy bookshelves to see if would work once i placed everything in the room i realized i still had like a little gap left so i had to go to ikea to get one of the narrow tall billy bookshelves so this is me just plain tetris just trying to move around the shelves to see how i want the closet and what works and what does not work once i had the narrow bookshelf in I maybe came up with an idea. This was not the final idea of how the closet will look. However, we're gonna get there. So once everything was in and in place, I went in with a hanger and because I have a closet door, I made sure that if I was supposed to hang anything behind the closet door, it would open. So these are the closet rods I bought from Home Depot. It is super easy to install. However, I had a little hiccup. I will be linking everything down below. To hang your closet rods, you wanna place a hanger on the closet rod to make sure you're placing it where the hanger has enough room so if you are to hang a clothing piece, it hangs freely. So to mount the rods, you have to remove that small screw and remove that outer piece and we are going to be placing two screws one in the middle and one up top so this is what i did first and this is a big mistake and i'm going to show you guys not to follow this step i used the screws that came with the closet rods and it was too long i thought it could have worked and when i started hanging stuff on it the rods just started to bend so this is how it would look if you use the screws that comes with the closet rods they are too long so they will go through the shelves so i tried to not put it through too much and it still did not work so i had to go to home depot and i got the 5 8 inch screws those worked perfectly so i would suggest you use those screws if you are going to be hanging like maybe heavy items jackets and stuff on it i then had to remount everything so i placed the screws for the top screws i use one of the pre-drilled holes because that would be that's easier to you know screw the screw in so for the middle piece i had like a little problem because it is easier to use a drill for the middle so i didn't have a drill at the time and I had to use my hand. You can use your hand to screw that screw in, but it is gonna take a lot of strength. And listen, your girl don't have the arm strength. It took me a minute to get this screw in. When I tell you a minute, a minute. I'm, I mean, I had to take breaks, but it got in. So once that was in, all I had to do was just repeat the same step on the other side. So once I got to the opposite side, so happy that my partner got home and he had a drill. So I pre-drilled the hole and the inner, the inner screw was super easy to get in. So I would suggest you guys have a drill if you don't have the arm strength because it's gonna take a minute. So once everything was in and my screws were nice and tight, I then added my rod. So the smaller screw that I removed earlier that secures the rod to that outer piece, you want to get that smaller screw and put that in. So that's what's going to secure that rod to the outer piece and create that, you know, sturdiness. Once that was tight, all you have to do is just repeat that same step on the opposite side. So I 
did that on the opposite side and once everything was nice and tight i went in and just double check to make sure that my rod was not moving. This is a picture when I placed that first rod in that shelf and this is the finished closet. I added a mirror and some hangers and I got both of them from Walmart. The mirror was super affordable. I will link it down below. This is my little office area. Needs some more work over there but we're getting there. I also added some pieces to my closet and tell me that does not look like a built in this closet is so beautiful and guess what everything can be removed so it is renters friendly like i i needed this so this is the finished product and if you guys want to try this diy it is super easy so please like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next video thank you guys for watching